What's up guys, Austin Numa here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about something I've been getting asked a lot of requests for, which is the quick zoom transition. This is a very easy transition to get right inside Adobe Premiere Pro without any plugins or presets, and I'm going to show you how to do it a really quick and effective way. Before I dive in, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. Alright, so I'm inside Adobe Premiere Pro, I've got my two clips I want to transition in between here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to take my first clip here and bring that up to my second track. I'm going to go to this intersection of these two clips and I'm using the left arrow key. I'm going to go back three frames. One, two, three. I'm going to drag the second clip underneath this lip here. This is where the transition is going to take place. I've tried it with four frames, tried it with five frames. I've tried it with two frames. I like three frames the best, but you are open to experiment with it if you need. So what I want to do, I have my top clip selected. I'm going to go to effects and type in transform. I'm going to drag transform onto my top clip and now you're going to see some settings pop up under here. We're going to go ahead and set a keyframe for position and scale. You may also have to set one for rotation depending on your image that you're transitioning in between. For this one, this will be fine just kind of using these two for me because I filmed this both from a straight on angle. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go to the last point in my clip here and I'm going to set a keyframe for position and scale here. I'm also going to take the opacity down to 50% so we can see the image underneath. So let's go ahead and extend this out one frame just so we can kind of see where this is going. I'm gonna bring my scale up to 300 and then I'm going to move my position to where her hand is. So right about here. So that's exactly where I wanna be. So I'm gonna bring this frame back in. There we go. So now we're back to three frames. So now that that's set, what I wanna do also is I want to go down here to use composition shutter angle. I'm gonna uncheck that and I'm gonna give this a nice film look. So I'm gonna do a shutter angle of 180. Now I'm going to go back to the keyframe that I set here for the opacity and I'm going to go ahead and delete that keyframe, making this 100% again. So there's one thing left I want to do. Going over here in your effects panel, you'll see these two keyframes. I will go ahead and zoom in to this little timeline. I'm going to select all of these keyframes and some of these may not select, so just hold down command and click these. And then I'm going to right click them, temporal interpolation and bezier. That will smooth out this motion for us. And that's as simple as this transition is. I hope this video has helped you. If it did, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.